Afternoon, everybody. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? How are you guys? Everything is okay? You so well? Ready for today? Yes, teacher. Okay, amazing. Thank you for joining me, everybody. We're going to start in a few seconds. I hope you're fine. And in a few seconds, for, yeah, I will begin with the attendance first. And of course, as you know, I'm going to pass the attendance. As soon as you listen to your names, please don't forget to say present. Right? There we go. That now? Thank you. Maria Veronica? Present, teacher. Thanks. Edith? Cassie Castillo? Alexis? Ana Maria? Puesto? Present. Thank you. Ana Janet? Janet Saray? Present, teacher. Thank you. William Ernesto. <coughs> William Ernesto. Daniel Jeremías. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Here. Ruth Milagro. Present teacher. Bien. Luis Emilio. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Walter. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Vizmara. Sonia Maldonado. Jaime Humberto. Sul Mayanera. Present teacher. Thanks. Gloria. Katie. Katie. Me, Edith. Oh, Edith. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh. No worries. Haiti. Victor. Person. Thank you. Gilma. Jocelyn. Eddie. Oh, okay. Perdón. No, este, si lo escuché, pero no le... Yeah, I think you have some issues. Voy a decir prensa. Sí, teacher. Ok, sí. Le... Ahora se lo escucho bien. Ahora se lo escucho bien, al final. Creo que tiene dificultades. Eh, no se preocupe, verifique todos en orden y no hay ningún problema. Ya sacan esto. Thank you. Uh, I'll continue. Gilma, Cinemonia, Erika Yesenia, Vilma, Vilma, Veronica Milagro. Present. Thank you. Gerardo, Erika Marisol. Marta Stephanie, Carolina Marquez. Okay, I will repeat the, the ones I already mentioned. Uh, good evening, one more time. Welcome everybody. It's nice meeting you. Uh, I already passed attendance, but I'm going to repeat your name, right? Nancy Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Anna Janet. Present teacher. Thank you. William. Daniel Jeremías. José, Isman. Present, present. Sonia Mandolado. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jaime. Este, el alguna dio la pizza, digo, este. Present, pero... present. Thank you. Un cojín, este, un. Elma. Jocelyn. 
Erika y Esenia. ¿Emma? ¿Gerardo? ¿Erika Marisol? ¿Marta Stephanie? Present teacher. Erika Marisol. Ok, ok, yeah, thank you. Carolina, I'm here. Hey, I can see Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Good evening. Thank you for joining. I see Alexis too. Hello, Alexis. Good evening. How are you, everybody? How are you guys? Okay, hey, we're going to begin with the class. Thank you, everybody, for being here. It's a pleasure. Uh, to meet you, right? Yes. This is class number nine. We're going to begin. Let me display the presentation for you. Okay. Um, I was wondering if um, okay. Oh, okay, okay. No worries, Heidi. Thank you for informing. That's a good way. Como lo mencioné hace un momento, verifico que eh, tu equipo, su micrófono se va a utilizar bien, el internet sobre todo. Y pues recuerde que se está grabando, igual se va a subir el video luego al canal, ¿verdad? Así es que cualquier cosa, si, como lo mencioné, lo, lo mencioné ayer, parece, si tiene muchas dificultades, eh, si el problema persiste durante toda la clase, eh, solo les recomiendo pues, poder ver la grabación. Good. Gilma, good evening, thank you. Let me see who else. Oh, I can see Marta. Marta, hello, good evening. Present teacher. Thank you. Gilma, is there anything that you want to do? I don't know if I'm going to do it. Okay, we're going to start the class. Okay, this is class number nine. Number nine. Uh, first, I just want to know if you have completed the, the section number three in the midterm. Did you do the midterm yesterday? Hemos completado la sección tres y el midterm lo hicimos ayer. Sí, Gloria. Lo mencioné. No se preocupe. Thank you. Perfecto. Hemos completado el midterm. La sección 3. Eh, si estamos pendientes con la sección 3, por ejemplo, recuerden si les hace la. o si estamos pendientes con, con las demás secciones, yes. ¿verdad? Thank you. Se les hace siempre recordatorio. Cada sesión. Por favor, completar lo antes posible en, en cuanto a. Ayer les comentaba, ¿verdad? Que la sección 3 debemos de tener completo. Ayer, porque ya terminamos la, la sección. 3 de la semana 2, ¿verdad? Que sería iniciamos la semana 3 y la sección 4 en la plataforma. Entonces, que vayamos siempre, eh, ¿verdad? Avanzando y practicando mucho más. Eh, y no se nos olvide, ¿verdad? No se olvide trabajar en la plataforma. Si somos pendientes, siempre, pues, ser nuevamente recordatorio, avanzar, avanzar hasta lograr, pues, nuestro objetivo. ¿verdad? Entonces, que cualquier cosa somos siempre a la orden. No olviden que ya sea en el grupo de WhatsApp o de forma personal, como sea de ser, ¿verdad? Va a ser un placer ayudarles en cuanto a ejercicio de la plataforma, las secciones, etc. Es que, repito, ya, te, ya tenemos que tener completo hasta la sección 3 y hacer el meter. Así es que espero que todos lo hayan hecho. Eh, sé que algunos ya avanzaron mucho más, pero es, es que muy bien, muy bien. Seguir practicando y te preguntas dudas. Let me see in the chat. Oh, yeah. Thank you, William. No worries. Thank you. Good evening. It's nice meeting you. Let me mark. Your name in the list. Okay. Very good. So we're going to continue with the class. Do you have more questions? Let's just say, you know, initial. 
Teacher, excuse me. Yeah. Tengo una consulta. Eh, se nos mandó la invitación para que pudiéramos llenar eh, el formulario electrónico, así como también hay que imprimir. Pero cuando eh, uno busca la opción, eh, la asesora nos pidió que pusiéramos este, el curso de inscripción principiante 4. Pero no aparece principiante 4, sino aparece eh, in, eh, intermedio algo 1. Le voy a mandar la, la, la captura de pantalla para que pueda verla. Ok, está bien. curso de la clase. Bueno, gracias. Perfecto, perfecto. Sí, este, con respecto a, a eso, pues con gusto se, se les va a apoyar. Eh, voy a verificar y voy a hacer la, la, la consulta. Eh, gracias. De nada, de nada. Solo que es hacer hasta las respuestas se las voy a tener hasta mañana, ¿verdad? Porque ahorita es bien difícil, aunque yo les escriba, ya es bien, bien tarde, ¿verdad? Pero igual, yo hago la consulta mañana temprano. Les estoy informando en el grupo. Y no sé si me escuchan cortado todos. No sé si escuchamos a nuestros compañeros también. Yo lo escucho bien. Okay. Sí, dígame. Eh, sí, a veces se escucha cortadito. Okay, eh, por eso. Sí. Perfecto, perfecto. Por eso sí, yo quisiera que me ayudara con la sección 4, número 4. Ok. Verifiquemos. Sí, por eso les hago la consulta si todos me escuchan cortados. Porque si todos me escuchan cortados, pero mira, pues que todos me escuchan cortados es porque eh, el problema es en mi zona, ¿verdad? En ese caso la conexión me está fallando. Eh, pero si son unos cuantos, Ahorita cortados, eh, probablemente sea su, su web, ¿verdad? Su conexión. O sea, es que verifiquemos. Eh, lo que les recomiendo es que si el problema persiste mucho con la conexión, eh, hagamos una actualización en, en nuestro wifi. Conectemos y volvemos a conectar. Listo. Vamos a la sección 4. 4.4. 4.4, sí. Okay. It says instructions change the verse in parentheses to task. To complete the story, you don't need to type period. It is already placed. Debemos de escribir los verbos en, en la forma pasada. Vamos a transformar los verbos a la forma pasada. Y no debemos utilizar punto. El punto, como lo mencionaba en las clases anteriores, con otro ejercicio que he explicado. Eh, a veces el punto de sacar, si no se trata de ponerlo, porque es de completar la, la oración en algunos casos, y esa palabra es, está, por decirlo así, en medio, así es que no es necesario un punto. Y lo que debemos hacer acá es prestar atención a toda la historia, prestar atención a toda la historia, porque eh, todo esto va en secuencia, va en secuencia. O sea, es que si vamos a la secuencia, es como que fuera un, bueno, una historia, una historia. On Friday night, y está el verbo en paréntesis. Vimos la forma pasada. I waited. On Friday night, I waited. I waited on a phone call. But my girlfriend, y tenemos estas formas. Son negativas. Y la forma pasada, ya casi llegamos a esa parte. La forma pasada, en este caso de... de Negativo, perdón, la forma negativa de la forma pasada. Didn't call. El verbo se utiliza en, en forma base, como le decimos. Tenemos un auxiliar, eso lo vamos a ver mañana. Entonces, que vea, seamos cuidadosos, si vemos que está en neg negativo, ya debemos utilizar el auxiliar. Y debemos utilizar el verbo en forma base. Uh, específicamente creo que la número 7 número 7 el problema que la he puesto de... sí hay de que sale entre paréntesis no word 
not work. Okay, so here the same didn't work. It's in negative. Didn't work. Didn't didn't work. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, tomorrow we're going to talk about this because we're starting the, the, the section number four. And tomorrow we're going to talk about the simple pants. Yeah. But it's okay, we're pretty good. So thank you for asking, Dr. Dagna. Pretty thank good. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, somebody else, by the way. Hello, Gerardo. Good evening. Uh, Erika Yesenia. Sí, por lo general, estoy revisando ahorita. Y los, los módulos, los módulos, ahorita ustedes están en, en básico 3, básicamente 3. Y los módulos están distribuidos de esa forma. Vamos con básico, ¿vale? principiante, principiante 1, principiante 2, principiante 3. Luego de principiante 3, ustedes pasan a pre-intermedio, pre-intermedio 1. Probablemente sea el, el, el principiante 4. Se, lo que comentaba William, el asesor le dijo, principiante 4, que es ese pre-intermedio 1. Que si lo vieron por ahí, pre-intermedio 1 es ese. Pre-intermedio 1. Sería. Es que ese es el que se deben de escribir, suma. Para no se duda. Porque ese es el que sigue después de principiante 3. Pre-intermedio 1. Yes. Luego seguimos, seguimos así, pre-intermedio 1, pre-intermedio 2, pre-intermedio 3. Después vamos a intermedio, intermedio 1, intermedio 2, intermedio 3. Luego vamos a pre-avanzado, pre pre-avanzado 1, pre-avanzado 2, pre-avanzado 3. Luego vamos con avanzado, avanzado 1, avanzado 2, avanzado 3. En esa secuencia van los módulos. Ok, ya. Yeah. Right now, I have Gerardo, Erika Yesenia, and... Soy Marcana Cana Analista. Ana Jeanette, I think you have a question. Sí, teacher. Eh, disculpe, es, yo estoy también con la compañera ahí en la lección 4.4. Entonces, yo le he puesto a, así, no sé por qué no me lo acepta en la, en la respuesta 3. Eh, no, perdón, 2. Y en la 7. Y en la. Ocho, las dos antepenúltimas. No, no okay. me la, de ninguna manera. Ajá. Ahorita lo muestro. Me, por... lo, lo que debemos hacer cuidadoso, lo que mencionábamos hace unos casos atrás, creo que fue con, con ustedes. Y, bueno, y no se preocupen, eh, Verónica Durán, que eh, me fue con esta, que puse módulo 4. Si les aparece así como principio de 4, probablemente sea eso. Voy a consultar bien eso mañana, si puse. Eh, porque sí, básicamente es principio de cuatro, pero así se les, se les, se les llama. Como se han estructurado los módulos. Eh, luego de principio de tres, a pre intermedio uno, sería el principio de cuatro. Le he consultado mañana, ¿no? Eh, sí, lo que, lo que sucede acá probablemente, me he preguntado, perdón, ah, no, ya en el país. Lo que sucede acá sí. es que probablemente no esté utilizando el, el apóstol, el que es. Lo sí. comentamos en el no pasado. lo estaba utilizando. Sí, no es lo decir, estaba utilizando, pero. Digo, digo. Sí, no lo estaba utilizando, pero ahorita que le mostró la compañera, lo hice yo también y ni aún así no me lo acepto. No sé por qué. Eh, lo, que, lo, que, lo que decía, ¿verdad? Probablemente ese apóstol que está utilizando es el de la que. Pero si ahora que sea el que está a la par del cero. La tecla que está a la par del ah. cero, ahí está la cosa. Está utilizando eso. Si no, puede utilizar forma sí. larga. Did not pull. ¿Por qué cosa? Ambas formas son aceptadas acá en el sistema. Did not pull. De las dos formas. Esa es la forma extensa y esa es la forma corta que es la conclusión. Uh -huh. Verifique bien eso, lo de la posta con el teclado, porque sí, eso, también, eso también es bien tricky. Teacher, perdón. A veces tienes una tilde, dígame. A veces también es porque uno le da, le da dos espacios. También, este. también. Uh -huh. Sí. Cuando ustedes terminan acá, didn't call, 
quedémonos a seguir, no demos espacio. Porque a veces uh, el sistema, yeah. a veces el este sistema toma más espacio como que ha escrito otra palabra. Sí, sí gracias, ya. Yeah. Sí, gracias, ya vi aquí el problema es que no, yo le estaba poniendo así como en los otros agregándole el ED y como quizás le pone ahí lo, lo anterior, el, no sé cómo se le llama, este, sí. se le quita el, la E y la D y lo deja como que está en presente. Sí, es que cuando se usa un auxiliar, el verbo no cambia. Exacto. Eh, pero Ajá, eso... Ahorita entendía. Sí, cuando utilizamos ese auxiliar que es en negativo, el verbo se utiliza en forma base. Es decir, normal. Ah. Lo vamos a ver mañana. Ya. Vaya. Eh, number three, Gracias. you will okay. Number three, me comentaba Gloria, también le da problemas. Eh, I just stay home and watch TV. Like this. Gloria. With ED. Es afirmativo. En the last one, es en the last one. I just walked to the mall and shopped. With double P. Double P. Okay, Gloria. Yeah. Verify uh, your answers. Number three, not in the last one you said. And yeah, check it out. Check it out. It's a pleasure, Gloria. Okay. We continue. Eh, no sé si más preguntas. Perfecto, eso se necesita. No, no, teacher. Thank you. Okay, we begin. This is section number four. Uh, today we begin with that section because we are starting the third week. This is the topic for today. Top eight things people hate to do. This is class number nine. Okay, today is Wednesday, July 28th. Moving on, let's begin. Let's talk about things people hate to do. This is the top eight things people hate to do. Okay, the first thing is, is stand in line. It's stand in line. If you go to the bank, then you have to stand in line, right? If you go to a food court or if you go to another place, I don't know, then you have to stay in line. They stand in line. They stand in line. That is the first thing that people hate to do. Right? Like in the image. In the image. Another one, number two is do the laundry. Do the laundry. That's another thing that people hate to do. Hate to do. The other one, travel to work. Travel to work. When we say travel to work, it's because you take the bus, you take another means of transportation, etc. Travel to work. Or even you drive in, you drive your car. So, yeah, I think that's something that we hate, right? We hate. I repeat, the first one is stand in line, stand in line. Do the laundry, do laundry, do laundry, travel to work, travel to work, go to meetings is number four, go to meetings, go to meetings, go to meetings, number five, exercise, exercise, people hate doing exercises. Some people, right? Some people. Or probably most of the people. So the people hate doing exercises. And it's because uh, probably they don't have time or, I don't know, probably they are tired. They know that they have to exercise. That is another thing. Exercise. Next, work in the jar. Work in the jar. Work in the jar. Another thing, and this is the most common, I think, clean the house, clean the house. Who likes cleans, who likes, who likes cleaning the house? Who likes cleaning the house? 
Yes, I do. Honestly, honestly. Do you? Do you? Yeah. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Clean the house. I think most of us, most people clean the house on weekends. Because that's the, the only time uh, which they have to, they have the opportunity to do it, right? Clean the house. That's another one. The, the last one, open the mail or probably check the emails, right? In the mail, check emails. That is another thing that people hate to do. But this is the top eight things people hate to do. Uh, tell me, what are the things that you hate to do based on this one? Do you like doing the laundry? Do you like going to meetings? Or the opposite, do you hate doing the laundry? What are some things that you hate? You hate to do things that you don't like, you don't like to do. Volunteers? I don't like working in the yard. Oh, okay, you don't like working in the yard. Very good. What else? What is another thing that you hate? You hate to do it. That's something that you don't really like to do. You hate. You hate to do. I hate standing in line. Standing in line. You hate standing in line. Standing in line. Okay. You hate standing in line. Pretty good. Um, what else? Another thing that you hate? What do you hate? Me, teacher. Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, I hate, I hate, no sé si estoy en lo correcto con la pronunciación. I hate to drink cool coffee. Repeat again. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I hate drinking cold coffee, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I hate drinking cold coffee. Cold coffee. Very good. Hey, tell me. Tell, tell me some other things. Not just these ones. Tell me other things that you hate to do. Really? I hate, I hate ironing. Okay, you hate ironing. Very good. That is another one. Irony. I hate irony. Very good. In the chat, I think someone typed, I hate the noise of my neighbors. Yeah. Excellent. I hate to wait. Sorry? I hate to wait. Okay, yes. Very good. I hate to wait. I hate to wait. Absolutely. I think that's a common, a common problem, right? A common thing that people hate. Very good, Walter, thank you. What else? What else? Another thing? What else? Besides these things, can you tell me more things that you hate to do? Another one that is common is this one, and I think you agree with me. You will be agree with me. I hate being in traffic. I think that's the most common, right? I hate being in traffic. Okay, another one, another situation, another thing that you hate to do? I hate being pushed. Being? I hate being pushed. Like this? Yeah. Yes. 
Okay. Yeah, I hate being pushed. Pushed, or you can say under pressure, right? Under pressure. Okay. Yes. What else? Come, come, come. I want to listen to you. Let me see. Um, Veronica Milano, what else? What is something that you hate to do? Camila? Uh, Gilma, yeah, yes. Okay. I try now to work every morning to do. Repeat again, sorry. This the audio is slow. Let me see the speech over here. I try to me escucha. I see. Siempre se le escucha bajito el audio. No worries, eh? very for your mind, you No worries. Very fix your microphone. Okay. I hate that the mask is ruined. <laughs> okay, I know idea, yeah. I hate that the mask is ruined. All right. Yeah, I travel to work every morning week. Oh, okay, so that's what you hate, Gilma. Yeah. Very good. So you can say I hate I hate traveling to work every morning during the week. Very good. Thank you, Gilma. Um Oh, okay, it's okay, Jose, no worries. Uh, Edith said, I, I hate sweeping. Sweeping, yes. Let me see. Veronica Duran said, I hate ironing clothes, yes. Okay, Veronica Milano, no worries. I imagine that you're having some issues, guys. It's okay. If you want to participate, just let us know. I, okay, yeah, please. Let's go. Um, I hate. Yeah. I hate clean the house. Okay, you I hate. Have, I have ever. I have. Oh, I hate. I hate. I hate. I hate. I hate, I hate cleaning clean the, the house. house. Cleaning the house. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Dagmar. Let me see in the chat. Some some more people are sharing. See, Jenny Sarai, I hate eating fish too, okay? Veronica Milano said, I hate the heat. I think you're referring to the, the weather, right, Veronica Milano? The weather condition. So if it is that, you can say, I hate, I hate a hot weather. Hot weather. Hot weather. When it is too hot. I hate hot weather. So you can say in that way, Veronica. Let me see. And Jeremia said, "I we hate to work the weekends." Oh, yeah, very good. Okay, Jeremia, for Daniel, we hate working on weekends. Yeah, and then I, I see another I see another example in the chat. I hate lies. Oh, yeah, Anna Jeanette. Yeah, you can say I hate, I hate lies. I hate lies. See? Okay, I hate noises when I sleep. Yes. Veronica, Veronica Milaro, if you have another example in the chat, I hate noises when I sleep. Uh, Gloria said, I hate drinking soda. Uh, Gloria, I hate drinking soda. Drinking soda. Okay. All right. Very good. Those are some nice examples. We're going to keep them because we're going to use them in the following 
uh, activity, right? I have classes in the morning. Oh, Erika is in every year. It's in this way, Veronica. Erika is in, sorry. I hate having classes in the morning. I hate having classes in the morning. Yeah, very good, Erika. Thank you. Okay, uh, let me see. It's a pleasure. Alexis said, I hate sending the report to my boss. <laughs> okay, very good, Alexis. Jansen said, I hate that you don't do homework. Okay. Yeah. It said, I hate someone leaving my messages on view. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really common. And I hate too. I hate too. Oh, it's because uh, when we have these verbs, when we have these verbs, like I hate, uh, the other verb, second verb is in ing form. Most of the times it's in ing form. Well, that's why I would say I hate having, I hate cleaning, I hate drinking. So this is a gerund. This is a gerund. Okay, that's why. So we use in ing. Okay. It's the same with some of the verbs like I love, I like. So these verbs are accompanied by a gerund. Before. You say, I love uh, watching a movie. I like uh, cleaning my house. So, the second verb, the second verb is 94. Okay? These are specific verbs. That's why we use 90, Eric. Anybody else? Sorry. Any questions? Let's go down to some examples. Some examples can deal with the things that people need to do. For example, listen to the following uh, theme. Uh, example. How to work every day. I hate it because there is a lot of problems. I hate it because there is a lot of problems. We are having a statement. Statement and we're expressing why we hate things, right? The, the thing is, I have to travel to work. I hate it because there is a lot of one. One example. Yeah, I mean, because uh, for you in some areas is it rain, right? Are we to take over the size of the area? What Yo me escucho cortado, Tiché. Me escucho cortado, Tiché. Sí, sí ahorita estoy junto a los estados experimentando un par de problemas. Vamos a seguir despacito, ¿verdad? ¿Me escucho bien ahora? Está tomando un poco para acá. Ok. 
Okay, this is an example. Let me repeat. This is an example of a thing that people pay to do, right? You can say, I have to work, okay, I have to travel to work every day. That is something that we do, right? We do every single day. I hate it. I hate that, or I hate it. I hate it because there is a lot of fun. That is an explanation of why I hate. I hate that, right? I have to come to work every day. I hate it because there is a lot of trouble, right? Yes, Miguel. Uh, I I I suppose yeah, it is raining right here too. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's begin. Let's go with the second example. Are you standing in line when I go to the bank? I hate it because I don't have enough time. Are you standing in line when I go to the bank? I hate it because I don't have enough time. Uh, I can write that. We hate. We hate it. Okay? Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Very good. This is the second example, right? Again, I stand in line and I go to the back. So I have a statement, right? I'm explaining. I'm saying what I do because I'm including the thing of the situation. I stand in line. I stand in line when I go to the back. I hate that and I hate it because I don't have enough time. But it's something uh, I think that is common, right? It's common to have it or to see it. Another example. I have to do the laundry on weekends. I hate it because I have a lot of clothes. I have to do the laundry weekends. I hate it because I have a lot of clothes. Okay? So that's the way we can express things that we hate, that we hate to do, right? Based on the vocabulary, the top eight things that people hate to do, we're expressing some ideas, right, some examples. Again, let me go back, let me repeat the first one. I have to travel to work every day. I hate it because there is a lot of traffic. Number two, I just stand in line when I go to the bank. I hate it because I don't have enough time. I'll save you the second example. And we have a third one. I have to do laundry on weekends. I hate it because I have a lot of clothes. I repeat, I have to do laundry. I hate it because I have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of clothes. Okay. Any questions, guys? Questions about it? No, this year. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Listen, what I'm going to do, I need you to think it, I need you to take it to account, sorry. Keep in mind the previous things that people hate to do, right? Stand in line, do the laundry, travel to work, go to meetings, exercise, work in the yard, in the house, open the mail, mail, uh, check emails, etc. So you can include more more ideas, more things that you hate to do, right? As I said before, uh, iron on the clothes, right? Do the dishes, sweep the floor, mop the floor, etc. So we have different things, right? What I wanted to do, guys, in the following part, is keep in mind these ideas and these examples that I gave you, I have to talk Work every day. I hate it because there is a lot of traffic. 
So this is what you have to do, right? Because an example was, I stand in line when I go to the bank. I hate it because I don't have enough time. And the last example was, I have to do laundry on weekends. I hate it because I have clothes. What I wanted to do in this case, following more, I need you to follow the examples given, and I need you to describe at least two things you hate to do. Listen again. All of the examples given describe at least two things you hate to do. For example, let me give you another example. I have to clean the house every weekend. I hate it because I don't have free time. That's another example. This is an additional example. But what I wanted to do, I need you to follow the previous ones, the previous examples, I need you to describe at least two things you hate to do. You have to follow these instructions and examples, and you need to write or describe at least two things you hate to do. Your notebooks. Okay, I will give you some time. Please go ahead, and as soon as you finish, please let me know. Any questions? Any questions? No. So far, so good. Excellent. Okay, let's go. I will give you some time, please, in your notebooks. Try at least the things you hate to do. I need you to follow this example. The previous ones, this ones, and of course, the last one, right? This one. I have to clean the house every weekend. I hate it because I don't have free time. Go ahead. Can I you finish, please? Raise your hands. Mucho, no, no, está lloviendo bien fuerte, está lloviendo bien fuerte, no es mucho. Yes, yes, está lloviendo muy pero, fuerte. Yes. Pero, pero dice que hagamos dos oraciones. Yeah, you have to follow these examples. Follow the examples and you need to, this example, right? You have to clean the house Ay, every weekend. Luz. I hate it because I don't have free time. Okay? You have to put examples where you need to describe at least two things you hate to do. Take those examples. Vamos a escribir. Vamos a escribir dos ideas, ¿verdad? Dos ideas similares. 
or things you need to do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jancy, for sharing the chat. La chance de que se ahorita utilizar el micrófono, a dos compartir responsabilidad. Si gusta, vamos a compartir el micrófono. A ver si puedo explicar a unos cuantos. Dice que se nos dificulta un poquito. La lluvia, porque no diría el lugar se está viendo. Es que, por favor, compartirlo si se en el chat. Que vamos a estar revisando a unos cuantos. Please, se pregunta, hagamos. No logramos, no logramos escuchar la, la indicación de la receptividad, me pongo en la vista. Thank you, Jancy. Thank you, Walter. Edith, you get it? En el chat, me compartí un picho. Please, please. Okay. Por favor, por favor, por favor. Eh, creo que eso nos va a Thank you, Walter, Daniel, good. Thanks, William. Very good. Thank you, Ruth Elizabeth. Gilma, thank you. Okay, we're going to listen to some participants. Uh, some of you are uh, finishing the activity right. Uh, we're going to listen to some of you. Uh, Jansi, can you help us with your example, please? Repeat again, teacher, or please. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jansi, can you uh, express, can you show your example for the class? Yes. Please. Okay. I hate to work the weekend. Uh, I hate, no, perdón, perdón. I have to work the weekend. I hate to work the weekend because don't have for my son. Uh, second, when I clean the house, I had it clean because I get, uh, creo que así se pronuncia, dusty. Dusty, dusty, okay. yes. Okay, uh, what do you mean with the first one, Jancy? When you say I, because I don't have for my son. I guess I'm going to say don't have for my son. Uh, Creo que me hace falta. I don't have time. No tengo tiempo. Oh, okay. okay. Perdón. Yes. Ahí me faltó. Perdón. Okay. It's okay. No problem. Uh, just one observation. Uh, Jancy, I have to work on weekends. I have to work on weekends. Or on weekend. It's okay. I hate it. So you can omit a saying again word the week. So you can say I hate it because I don't have time. Okay. For my son. 
So you can omit a word the weekend because you already said, you already said, work on weekend, and just that's why you use I hate it. I hate it. But eat substitute that activity. Ese eat okay. substitute la actividad por un week. Es necesario que sea. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank okay. you, too. All right, so let me see. I'm going to go with another participant. Um, Edith, can you help us, Edith? Your examples? Thank you, Ruth Elizabeth, Martha, Stephanie. Thank you, Gerardo. Uh, let me see. Eddie, can you help us, Edith? Can you hear me? Good chat, Edith. Hello? Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you. Veronica Milagro. I think it is having some issues because I cannot listen to, it, to her. But. Okay, this is the no problem. Sorry. Milagro. Okay, uh, listen, it is no problem. I understand you're having a problem with the microphone, I think. I'm going to read your examples. Okay, no worries. These are a deep example. I have to pay bills of a bank. I hate it because I don't like to stand in line. Yeah. Number two, I have to clean fish. I hate it, but I love fried fish. Very good. Think of it. That's a good. Uh, Walter, can you help us, please? Yes, it's a... Okay. Okay. Um... I had to travel to work in the morning. I hate it because there is a lot of traffic. I had to travel early in the morning. I hate it because I don't eat well. I don't eat? Well. What was it? Oh, okay. okay. I, don't, I don't eat well. Yeah, well, well, yes. pretty good. Thank you, Walter. That's a nice example. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see if we continue with Daniel. Daniel, can you give us your examples, please? I have to do fairly complex layer. I hate that my computer doesn't render la render fast. And I have to work at home. I hate my neighborhood. They listen to music very low. I love stealing. Okay. Pretty good, Daniel. Thank you. Let me see. Uh, William, can you help us, please? William, can you hear me? Excuse me. Okay, no worries. Uh, can you tell us your example, William, please? Okay. I, ha I have to buy in the central market every Saturday. I hate it when we are late. It's very full. Okay, yeah. Very good. Thank you so much, William. Uh, I will go with two more participants because of the time. Uh, I will listen to Ruth Elizabeth. Uh, I, have, I have to iron a lot on weekend. I hate it because I have a little free time. The second one is, I have to travel to work. I hate it because the traffic in the afternoon is heavy. Exactly. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Gilma, can you help us with your examples? 
get people. Yeah. I had to work in the yard. I hate it because I don't have time for this. Yes. Very I good. Have to work. Okay. Yeah. I have to go to meetings. I hate it because they are too early. Okay. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Do you mind? Only that? Sorry? Okay, thank you, Gilma. Well, uh, listen, because of the time, uh, we will continue tomorrow. We're going to, so right here with the class, but I want to thank, I want to thank, uh, you know, everybody because you have sent the the exercises or the, your ideas in the chat, right? So again, thank you, Marta, Gerardo, Jocelyn, Veronica Milagro. We have See Jenny, Veronica Duran, Edith, Anna Janet, Veronica Milaro, Erika Yesenia, Anna Janet, Janet, Anna Maria Weiser. Listen, uh, I, I would like to, to see your examples. Uh, I was wondering if you can send the your examples in the chat, please, in the WhatsApp group. Les voy a pedir de favor que quiero revisar, quiero ver sus ejemplos. Me hicieron falta. Eh, les voy a pedir favor que me compartan su, sus ejemplos en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp, please. Para yo pues, verificarlos y obviamente ver sus ejemplos. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, eh, any questions? Questions about this class, about all what we have seen? No, it's okay. Okay, perfect. Well, everybody, we're going to start right here. And remember that tomorrow we're going to continue with the class, with new class, sorry. Recordemos que mañana continuamos, ¿verdad? Mañana es el último día. Después tenemos que la pausa, ¿verdad? Pausa académica por la vacación. Así que siempre hace la invitación a que continuamos, ¿verdad? Continuamos, señores, estamos bien atrasados algunos ejercicios de alguna sección continuar hasta pues, lograr verdad el objetivo es que no dejamos de hacerlo de practicar por supuesto cualquier cosa pues recuerden siempre estamos ahí a la orden con gusto ¿okay? es que nos vemos mañana y pues, ya eso nos queda mañana y la próxima semana quedaríamos libres con los de viernes bien libre es que se pregunta sobre los comentarios no. All right. Well, everybody, thank you so much for your time, your patience, and of course, your participation in class. We continue tomorrow. Please have a good night. Keep safe and many blessings. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye.